Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be showing you how I'm coloring this 613 wig. Now, remind you, this is my first time doing it, so I'm very excited. So the utensils you're gonna need is just the color of choice, a brush, shampoo, and a hair clip, just in case. If you're interested, stay tuned. And you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Go check out some other videos. So let's get into it. So now I am filling my sink up with warm water, hot water. And So as you can see, the sink is pretty much full. Now you're going to add the color of your choice. My color is cotton candy. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And once I add this color in, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in the color. Mix it into the water, make sure you mix it very thorough because if not, you're gonna have some little patching So as you can see, I am taking that color, mixing it in, make sure that color gets all the way through the water. And it could be your choice. I like to mix a little bit as I go, to, just to see if it's the color that I want. Okay, you guys, so side note, by me trying to do this on my own, I was so nervous. But honestly, like I wanted to do something different for my birthday. I wanted to have like a different cut, a different color. You know, I just wanted to be like new. Oh my God, you guys, this color is so pretty. Like it's pretty in the water. It, it, it's gonna be, so, it's so pretty on the hair. Okay, so now the color is all the way mixed through. I'm just getting a glove because I have on nails and I didn't want to risk my hands getting stained. So I just use, you know, a glove just in case because I know for a fact like when you stain your nails from hair dye or anything, it takes a while to get off. Okay, so now I am fin about to test the color. I wanted to test the ends of the hair first before I just dip it in because what if it's not the color I want? So I'm just basically taking the end of the wig to just to see if it's the color. So as you can see right here, this is after me just dipping the ends. So I'm pretty much satisfied with this color. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and easily drop the wig into the water. But before I do, so I'm going to take, flip the wig over on the inside and I'm going to use some spritz or you could use ghost spawn and I'm going to spray the inside of the front part of the wig. This is so that way when you dip the wig in the water, it doesn't bleed. So this is very important. So it's your choice of spritz, ghost spawn, make sure you put that and spray it on the inside. And when I say on the inside, I'm spraying directly on that lace so on the inside of the lace so that way it does not bleed okay so now it's time to go ahead and put this wig in now as you can see I'm putting my wig in slowly you know giving it a little tender love and care before I just drop it in so as you see I'm just putting it in turning it around at first you guys I was so nervous so as you can see now, I have put that wig on in. I'm letting that color saturate it. Okay, so 
Okay, so now the wig has been in for some time. And as you can see, like, it's really taking well to that color. And that color that I got, you guys, I got it from my local hair store. It was like probably $3.99. So it was very inexpensive. So I basically took that wig on out and as you can see right there, there is like two spots where the color just sat there. So in the bottom of my sink, like I said, this is my first time around the top where the stopper, there was a lot of color there was right there. So what I did was I just put the wig back in the water. I just ran my fingers through the hair so that color, that patch right there, it could get blended in. So that's what I'm doing right now. So by me putting that wig back in, I just basically let it take its time, let the color like saturate more. So now I'm looking at the wig, I am brushing through it so that patch is not there no more. So now I'm looking at the front part of the wig, like around the frontal area, and I noticed that the color didn't really sit as much. So now I'm going to just put half of the wig that's in the water and really to focus on that frontal part of the wig. Because as you can see, the end of the wig looks good, but I just want to make sure that frontal of the wig is like the same color. So I just basically put in half of the wig, as you see, really around that frontal area and let that sit in the water some more so it can just soak in that color some more. So I'm going to let that sit um, for a couple minutes and then I'm going to check back on it. So now that that color has set some more around the frontal area, I'm pretty much satisfied. I'm going to go ahead and let the water out because I'm pretty much done dyeing it. Okay, so from here on out, you should be shampooing the wig, rinsing out the wig in cold water. You will need to use cold water. Cold water is basically going to hold the color, it's going to make it more richer. So make sure you are using cold water only. So I'm just rinsing out the wig here. So I wanted to make sure I rinse this wig very good. Like I'm the type of person, I want to make sure I'm doing everything right, especially when it comes down to dyeing hair. So the shampoo I'm going to use is Tresemme uh, with Argana oil in that just to make sure you know you put the nutrients back in the hair so I'm just massaging the shampoo through the wig. So I'm pretty much done washing the hair. Oh my God, you guys, spraying that lace with spritz, as you can see, the color did not bleed at all. So thank me later, you guys. But this is the final product. Like I'm so satisfied with the wig, the color. Um,
I did a good job so if you guys want to know um, the product details like I showed you at the beginning it's not really a lot of product details it's just the color of your choice make sure you have a utensil to you know mix that color into the sink and until next time don't forget to like come subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video